So you get this, and then I go to the gym. Right, cheese spot? Boop. Oh, my cat's right over there. Hello, folks. Welcome back. For I'm the one, the only. I am a ho fo tom Let's go. Up oh, there goes my cat. She was joining me for a little bit. Let's go back in time a little bit. Let me know I'm looking a little extra scruffy here. Let's see here. Oh, wow. That's a lot of... Oh, no. I get that melds into... Into that. Yep, yeah, I've had a busy week. Crazy weekend. And it's going to get even more bonkers. Um, let's see here. So first things first, I do have to give some shout outs. Cupcock. Yep, you are on your way, sir. Do you know what? You just told Nikki Cross to take it all off? Nostrand themes! Yes! Brother Nero, I knew you'd show up. Well, not really. But, um. Let's see, I know you've had that. Do have to check one thing. You know what? You're that luchador in a forklift. Let's see here. I think I have. Might as well get all the thank yous done, I guess. Zero V2. You, sir, always win twice because you get that six count.
goes for Sahara. Oh, no, like, oh, not enough. Batista's dick. You, you're just good at that air guitar. Let's see if I can read my own handwriting. Kenny Segura, you're just chilling out with your briefcase boombox. I think that's all the thank yous for now. Now that I can tell, I didn't make the hobo list. It's about live streaming, so it's hard to do stuff like that. Again, um, check out my videos. I made a, I finally made it to the NXT live show. I'm kind of happy about that. That was good. Um, hopefully, in about 16 more days, I'll be able to either smacked on live or in 18 more days, when the WWE comes back to town, I'll be doing another live show like that, and hopefully. One day I'll take a look at where the Florida loop circuit takes NXT. But enough about NXT and the WWE. It's time to go back in time a little bit. Talk about AEW. AEW. Uh, so this goes back last week. Last Wednesday's show. Um, Thursday was chaotic for me. Friday I was traveling all over the place. Friday was Pure chaos. Saturday. Saturday I had to get caught up a little bit. And Sunday I had to tranquilo. And watch. A very predictable AEW show. I'll be getting to that later though. So this AEW show from last week started off. Um, Brian Danielson versus Zack Sabre. And Zack Sabre Jr. They kind of. Yapped at each other. That's when we found out that there's going to be a mystery opponent for Zack Sabre Jr. And there was a Moxley promo. And nobody cared about that. Well, then we have United Empire. Versus, I just put down chaos. Because I don't, I forget who the third person was now. Well, wow, that's bad. It was just chaos, though. From New Japan. This is like New Japan Faction war Warfare. And I heard the F word. They have to realize that they're not in New Japan. If you hear funny noises, the yard people are here. They can't curse like that. So I heard the F bomb. Um, so, for the most part, it's kind of classic start. Orange Cassidy's in the corner with his hands in his pockets. There was some good triple team action. 
However, there's no dives for any, anyone. Whenever someone tried to dive, they either got caught or just missed. So try and bump that up a little bit. Turn the mic so it faces me. Um, Trent Breda, for the most part, got beat up. The, it was a good double team by the United Empire. Uh, Orange Cassidy got the hot tag. They uh, triple teamed Will Osprey. Orange Cassidy had the scum dog millionaire Romero with a hurricanrana. Ricky, Ricky Romero has a very pretty looking hurricanrana. Uh, the United Empire guys they did that snap power bomb. That was good looking. And then as your typical, your spot fest happens. The Storm Zero is countered into a Lucha Destroyer. Uh, Orange Cassidy, he gets over in this match. Chaos wins. Yeah, that was part of my predictions because I said Will Offspring's not going to lose twice. So Chaos wins. It's a good match. Cheeseburger match. So Christian, there was a Christian Cage interview with Luchasaurus. I'll put the mic up here so you can hear me, so I can do my announced voice. Yes, indeed. While the, sure I can put that right there. That's a little bit better. Indeed. Yes. 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 Check it out now. Check it out now. Nah, that's way too goofy. There you go. You go right back there for normal volume ish. <laughs> Although that did sound pretty cool. I'll also remember that for future use and whenever I hear the lawnmower of doom. <laughs> yeah, I have to get to the gym too. So I can't goof around that much. Yeah, um. Christian Cage in an interview, Lucius Sars, he's like, hey, he's had enough. He's like, hey, hey, buddy, come on, let's talk about this. Then there was the Young Bucks and Kyle O'Reilly did a thing. Um, yeah, Kyle O'Reilly is injured too. Then we had a Malachi Black and versus Pentagon Jr. for the next qualifier for the oceanic belt because once you include Japan that's a whole other ocean Australia is a whole other ocean so I'm just c going to call it the oceanic belt that was pretty good that starts off Pentagon Jr. is a backstabber a sling blade Pentagon Jr. is so good he's just underutilized in the AEW I mean his work in Lucha Underground was freaking amazing that's where he been there in CMLL and AAA, I think that's where he really, I mean, I think he made his American name really in Lucha Underground. Uh, oh, yeah. On the outside, Pentagon Jr. got sent to the bike rack. I don't call it barricade. It's a bike rack. And Malachi Black is an ab stretch. They trade and encounter each other for a while. Black... Malachi Black at the Coup de Gras. Pentagon Jr., the top rope DDT looked absolutely nasty. However, Malachi Black hit the Black Mass. That was the end of that. Malachi Black moves on. Solid match. Cheeseburger match. Then we get a promo from Miro about how he is the Redeemer and will win his all oceanic belt. Man, I'll tell you what, I was shocked at this match. Silas Young, the last real man. Indeed. They got on Hangman Adam Page. Um, they start off trading with pins and they trade chops. Adam Page has his big moonsault. He always does Silas, that snap suplex. Silas Young has an absolutely great look. Even though he's 25 years old, he looks like a grizzly old man from like the NWA in the 70s. He should be like 50 something. But yeah. Page had the superplex silent. <laughs> WTF? Whoa. 
Um, Silas, he literally went right into, that's the only bad thing. He literally walked right into the Buckshot Lariat by Adam Page. Hangman Adam Page wins. It was okay. The fact that he just walked right into it. I'm like, really? Ham sandwich match. Uh, Adam Cole, Adam Cole, baby, boom, comes out for story time with Adam Cole, Jay interrupts him, um, yeah, then that sets up the four-way, then there's the baddies opening, I wonder if I could be a baddie, I'm just bad, uh, Chris Statlander and Athena do a little interview, whatever, then we have the Maria Shafir botch fest match, or judo match, Versus Tony Storm. Uh, Marie Marina <laughs> failed in her single leg attempt. Man, she has to be on Dark more often. She and more reps in NXT when she was there. Then there was a terrible takedown. Tony Storm had a drop kick. Maria Shafir, oh, so gato! Or Sasai. I forget what the, what the real judo name is. Um, then she had some kicks. Little chin lock there. Uh, did a hip attack. That would actually hurt. Maria Shafir has some kind of bony hips. Bony hips. And some more judo sweeps. Sasai, Osorogato, um, Kayuchi. I don't know. Some, some other thing. Then she had the straight jacket choke. This was not a good match. Tony Storm hit the Aussie headbutt, which, as we've learned, it's like the third most powerful headbutt. Because it's actually fourth. Samoan headbutt's still the best. Scottish headbutt's number two. American headbutt. Aussie headbutt. Because when, the, when any Australian does the headbutt, it seems they hurt themselves more than they hurt their opponent. Um, and that seemed to be like a receipt for, some, for something Shafir did. Then there was a roll-up clutch. This was a lousy... This, this was a sloppy match. There just seemed to be some sandbagging, some potatoing, some receipts. You know what? Oh, yard people are back. Indeed. So, yeah, um... I don't know. They tried, so it's... And they didn't say hit me. I'll say it's a can of soup. But I'm being really generous with that. And then in the... Let's see, what else was there? The main event, it was Chris Jericho uh, and Lance Archer taking on Hiroshi Takahashi. Go Ace! And John Moxley. There we go. Um, all four men just start off in a brawl. Wow, this video's gone quick. All four men, all four men start off in a brawl. Moxley again gets stretches. Chris Jericho lands in some elbows. Sammy Guevara eventually go, gets involved because he's there with Ty Conti. Ty Conti's all ass. The more I see of her, her tits keep on getting smaller. Their ass keeps on getting bigger. It's moving. In NXT, it was the opposite. I don't know. A lot of women, after they leave NXT, <laughs> seem to get smaller. Please, Nikita. Please don't have that happen to you, though. She, she is all of everything. As you can tell by my previous video. Um. Uh, yeah, so Sammy Guevara grabs Moxley's leg. That kind of just annoys Moxley. Chris Jericho then catches up with Moxley. Slingshots him to the bottom rope. Archer, it's a cannonball! Oh, that was funny. Archer told Fancy to get out of the way. That's hilarious. It's like, they pay for this. It's not, your, it's not their fault that you threw him into the cage. Ty Conti cheap shots Moxley. I guess she's good for something, other than being a fluid receptacle. 
Chris Jericho hits a code breaker. Ace uh, Tanahashi gets the hot tag. Uh, he does his own code breaker. That's great, though. Chris Jericho at the walls of Jericho and Moxley. It's an RKO. Archer just no sells everything. Ace hits a frog splash. Takahashi and John Moxley win. A brawl ensues on the outside. Except for Takahashi and Moxley just kind of like stare at each other. Not a bad match. I'll tell you what. It was actually fairly entertaining. Cheeseburger match. Did I skip anything or was this just... Am I just doing things quicker? I'm just quicker because I realize I have to get to the gym. And we had... The Yard pe People here. Yeah. That's a pretty cool effect. I'll have to remember that. Other than that, that was AEW. So this video is going to go up probably before... We can start the editing process during that. We're at 7. This video will go up probably around NXT time. After I do my work, I'll get to this. Because that's going to be a short video anyway. Then I'll only, only be like two days behind. Wednesday I can do that. I can do Raw. Oh yeah, this is also like the stuff for the week. So I'll get to Raw because I watched that. I'll um, get to NXT. But I might go fishing though. So we'll see. Oh, okay, too lazy to go fishing. I was just lazy feeling, I don't know, something like got into my system for some reason. I'm just zonked. Um, Thursday, I will be watching Impact. Friday, I'll be doing a quick SmackDown review because I do have to get to sleep that night. I will not, I will also on Thursday be doing a predictions video for Money in the Bank. That reminds me, I have to find that picture. I can do that very quickly. No. Um, I will not, however, be watching Money in the Bank. I have to work that day. Probably next Monday or this coming Monday. I'll show you what happened at the soccer fest here in Daytona Beach. Other than that, Ole, 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 ole. I just hope it's more of the Brazilian booty soccer ladies versus the Scottish 